Hi again, it's me, and I've got some information here for the Tricorder project I've been working on. I'm sorry it's not the information you might be wanting to hear about the Speedo project. I will be going back to that. I've just been preoccupied with this lately. Uh, it's my fault. I, I will do it. There is some information on the Speedo coming soon, I do promise. Um, well, I haven't done any work on the actual body of the Tricorder lately, mostly because I've been waiting for electronics to come in. Uh, but I have been working on the display quite a lot lately. There's been a few little tidbits I've shown, but uh, this is just a proper little information video. Anyway, I'll just get this out of the way. Um, basically, I've been using the NextGen display for this, and I've been using the NextGen uh, IDE to build uh, these display uh, these interfaces um, and obviously Photoshop for the elements but uh, they're animated using code so they, these aren't videos um, these are real-time GUI elements and if I choose to some parts I can run and change information on the fly um, it's a bit limited mostly because I can't do anything high res on the next stream without using actual textured graphics and obviously they're not as dynamic as actual real text for instance i can't use real text it just looks really blocky i might do something about it later but at the moment it's just it's just to look pretty i mean it, this is a toy isn't it let's not really let's not get too over ourselves with this but anyway uh these are the displays so you've got the standard uh mark x uh mark 9 um scientific display here which is sort of slightly altered with the alphabet of gamma delta bit but it's you know you, you would recognize that um anyway here are the rest of them um this is a, a metallurgical scan i hope i've got that spelt right uh sort of like you know some images of uh, crystalline structures and whatnot and you know it flashes it's just it's what's meant to be it's meant to be pretty uh medical scan um, the vital signs at the bottom there, they're just two textures with a progress bar essentially faking that animation of them going across and the rest are like slider bars and uh, multiple um, cropped buttons and whatnot. Uh, but again, as I said, it's, it's running on a loop, it's running in code in order to make the animation look like it's doing something. Uh, a map. You know, geoscan. Uh, random biological scan. Um, I might tweak and change this one later. I'm not 100% happy with this design on that one. Now, this one, subspace survey. Um, this has been an awkward one. Originally, up for here on the band A and band B, uh, these little buttons were meant to stretch so the little sliders are meant to stretch along with it, but because it's next gen, there's a bug with next gen. Next gen doesn't recognise they've got anything wrong. They cause some weird artifacts. Um, they leave lines and ghosts and shadows, and I, I, I couldn't work with that. So I decided to leave leave it as just little blocks that move up and down. Uh... Uh, another one, it's another little sort of power field type thing. This was a pain in the ass to create. That's direct, that's loads and loads of different progress bars like these. And um, yeah, uh, when you're dealing with something this resolution, you can't zoom in. It's a nightmare to try and line things up and make them look like they're doing something. And finally, yeah. So if you press the emergency button, this screen will show up. Um, and yeah, uh, I, I do another secondary animation with this to do like the upload effect of it and then power down effect. Um, but yeah, this, this, that's it really at the moment. Well, I hope you like this little update. Uh, as sure as I am working on this, I've been working on these graphics a heck of a lot this last week. Um, I hope you like it and show that I'm still working on things. Anyway, bye bye.